Hi guys, my name is Ashton. Welcome to Sunny Fit. Today we are gonna do a 20 minute full body cardio sculpt. So we're gonna be using our bike and it's your choice. You can use light, medium, or a heavy set of weights. I'm gonna use medium, but you use the right weight for you. Let's get started. We're gonna lay flat on our back and start with bridges. So lay down with your feet shoulder width apart. You're gonna have one weight on each side of your body. Just keep it there for now. Hands go to the floor. Press your feet into your mat and gently raise your hips up. Squeeze your glutes at the top and then articulate your spine back down. So right now you're moving with slow, steady energy, pressing all the way up, articulating your spine on the way up, feeling the hold in your lower back and your glutes, and then articulate back down. So it should feel like a stretch right now. We're gonna do four more just like that, keeping that slow pace. Feeling your feet press equally into the floor, like you've got four pegs on the edge of your foot. As you press into the floor, you naturally feel your thigh bones wrapping out, almost like you're screwing your feet into your mat. Slow count down. Now this time, think about taking an exhale on the way up, press to the mat, and then take an inhale back down. Try to feel each vertebrae as you lower down. Two more, and then we're gonna make it a little bit harder as we're headed into a hold. Last time to come back down, articulate, feel your tailbone connect to the floor. Press into the mat, slowly come back up. Here we're gonna feel a hold. Now most of the time people tuck and they're moving their hip bones, but the work comes from squeezing your glutes and contracting, so a little tuck squeeze tuck squeeze and just like I talked about you're gonna feel your inner thighs rotating out the deeper you press your feet to the mat which sends the work to glute medius that's the side of your glute let's go for ten here's nine eight seven we reset in six five four three two and one lower down here's where we find our weights now modify by keeping both feet on the floor and just adding the weights. Otherwise, I'm gonna give you a challenge to press your right heel to the sky. We're gonna press up for a bridge, chest press, lifting off of your left leg. It gets a little harder if you flex your right heel. And you're moving at a faster pace, up and down. Four more. Here's three. Make sure you come all the way back down. Most people try to skip that part, but we're actually working our lower back our glutes and our hamstring. If your tailbone doesn't touch, your lower back isn't getting the right work. Lift up, hold, and pulse. The pulse comes from squeezing and contracting your left glute. You start to feel that shake. 10, nine, eight, seven. Let's see if we can hold in six, five, four, three, two. Try to hold chest fly eight times. Bring your right foot down if you need to modify. You can have both feet on the floor. Otherwise, try to keep your hip bones steady. Here's four. We reset in three. Here's two. And last one. Bring your foot down, bring your hips down. Rock side to side, same work on the right. I want your right foot to press down as you flex your left heel to the sky. It's a narrow chest press up and down. The goal is to lengthen our leg, but again, you can take your left foot back down to the floor if you need to. Four more. And then we start pulsing from the left. Here's three. We got two. Lift up your pulsing left heel. Up and up, but the work comes from squeezing right glute in and in. Breathe as you lift for 10. Here's nine. We got eight, seven. Here's four, three, two. Try to hold steady hips. Keep flexing your left foot. Eight chest fly. Feeling your chest and your back. Exhale as you lower down, inhale back up. Four more. Here's three. We got two. And our last one, bring it down. Now we're gonna keep our feet parallel. Last bridge exercise. You're gonna lift your heels. You're gonna take your elbows into a 90 degree angle. You're gonna press up so that we feel our calves and back down. We lift up eight. Here's seven, bringing elbows back down, trying not to arch your spine. 
flat back as we hit the floor. Four. We got three. Here's two. You're going to lift up. You're going to feel that small tuck. Now this time you feel it more in the calves. While we're tucking our hip bones up, turn your palms to face in. Hold in 10, nine, eight, seven. Last time we go for a chest fly in five, four, three. Hold the hips, alternate the arms if you need to modify, if this is too much. Otherwise we got six more. Here's five. We finish chest back, glutes, hamstrings, and calves in four. We got three, headed to the bike in two. Weights are gonna come with us, finish that last rep. Lower your hips down, rock yourself up. We're gonna take it onto our bike, let's bring our weights with us. We're gonna go ahead and make sure we can clip our weights in to the side of your bike. You got space for one, stack the other one right on top. And then let's hop on our saddle. We're gonna start on a flat road. And we're gonna test our speed, because what we want here is our cardiovascular system to feel the brunt of the challenge. In the next few minutes, we're gonna turn it up. So a flat road is all the way to the left and give yourself maybe one to two little taps to the right. While we're here, we're already warmed up, so go ahead, set those shoulder blades back and down, and get ready. We're gonna push our RPMs all the way up to 105. So that's almost the max of the speed that we're gonna use for our RPM. I want you to go ahead and see your numbers there. Put yourself 105. We're gonna stay there for 30 seconds, and then we gradually take it up to 110. So feel yourself giving a small little tuck of the tailbone, pulling your belly button towards your spine, and then pushing into your bars. Core is helping us out here. So we wanna give ourselves time to gradually let our heart rate go up. We're gonna push our numbers to 110 and 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, push it up. It's not a big stretch, but this is as far as we're gonna take our RPMs. Hold 110, 20 seconds left, and then we're gonna pull it back, going right back to 90 if we can, all right? So that's about 20 less RPMs. We'll take it to jumps in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let your RPMs drop to 90 and lift it up, up eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, sit it down. Eight counts down, eight counts up. One minute in four, three, two, lift up. Eight, seven, Here's five, focus on that RPM. Here's three, two, take it down. If you need less, you drop to 80. If you need more, you push to 95. Lift it up strong. Eight, seven, here's five, four, three, two, sit it down. So when you're in the saddle, don't hesitate to get back out. Here's three, here's two, and one, 30 seconds left. Is your heart rate going up? Can you push your pedal? Three, two, and one, let's sit. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, rise up. When I take you back to the saddle, push 105 in three, two, let's go take it down. Push your numbers back. Final seconds to test our heart rate, and then we will pull our pedal stroke down. So work with me, just like we did before, 105 to 110. We're gonna make that switch in 10, nine, eight, seven. We pedal strong in five, four, three, two, let's do it. Hitting 110, can you do it? This time I'll leave you here a little bit longer. We added 15 seconds, that's a total of 45. And then we're gonna pull this pace back. So let your speed challenge you right now. 15 down, 30 to go. You've got this. Strong push against your bars, strong activation of the core. We're going in those final seconds right here. You can do it. 20 seconds on the clock. Give it your best. Headed to our weights, headed to moderate resistance underneath our feet. Push it for 10. Here's nine. Try to hit 110. Finish strong right here. We got five. We got four. Back it off in three, 
two, and a one. Slowly pull back. Find your RPM drop first. You're gonna be right around 60 to seven easily at a flat road. Once you feel like you're there, give yourself moderate resistance. So it shouldn't feel like you're necessarily digging through mud. It should be enough to stabilize you in the saddle. We're gonna reach down carefully, find one weight at a time, put it on your bike, grab, reach for that second one. Once you've got both weights, stack yourself over the saddle. And let's talk about our foot placement first. You're sitting up neutral spine, but your toes aren't pressing forward. You go heel to toe, parallel thighs the whole time. If that feels like too much of a struggle and you're digging, swinging your torso, less resistance. Let's take it up. First, we start with shoulders going up and up. Take it down, stop at goal post. That means stopping at a 90 degree angle. Take it down and down. Exhale as you reach. Inhale, drop down. Slow and control with purpose. Here's four. God, we got three. Last two. Elbows are gonna drop to our rib cage and we're gonna pick up the tempo. Elbows drop, now push, go up and over. Still your shoulders, chest and back kicking in. If you need to slow it down or alternate, that's a great way to modify. Let's go up 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Here's five, we got four, three, two, and a one. Bring it down, shake it out. Let's give ourselves a big shoulder shrug back. Elbows right by our ribs. Now lift it out like you just made a W. Pull in and out, curl. In and out, curl. Last 10. You got it, here's nine. Back to the bike in eight. Follow through, keep pushing that pedal. Use your abs. Neutralize that spine by lengthening from the crown of your head. Four more, in out, curl. Here's three, last two. Never skip the last rep. Pull it in, out, exhale, curl. Safely put that weight right back down, one at a time. And then we go back, pushing our numbers. Let's see if we can keep that moderate resistance this time, all right? So give your muscles time to adjust. We're gonna push our numbers as close to 95 as we can get them. That should be more of a stretch with this new resistance. Three, two, and let's go. 95 is our new number. It should be hard but possible to reach that number. So find the right tension right away. Don't wait, because you know you're gonna have to push it to 100 for that second 30 seconds. Can you do it? We're gonna push that number up in 10. Nine, eight, seven. We go in four, three, two, motivate yourself. You gotta get there. Why are you running? Push those legs past what you thought was possible. Using your full body, letting our cardiovascular system jump in right now, increasing our ability to burn fat once we jump to those weights. Last five, we push it up in four. Here's three, two, push it up that final five seconds. You got it, four, three, two, and we back it off. Pull back, breathe. We're gonna rise out of our saddle in five, four, three, two. This time your jumps, hands reach a little bit further. Four, three, two, sit it down. Eight, seven. We got four, three, two, rise up strong. Here's five, four, three, two, sit it down. Three more. Push your pedal, use your resistance lift. Core is activated. We go for four. Three, two, two more, can you do it? Two more, and then that last push in the saddle. Three, two, and one. One more, coming down in four. Three, two, and one. We start that push out of the saddle, all right? Rise in three, two, rise. Look at your RPMs. Final 30 seconds, get yourself as close to 100 as you can in five. Four, three, two, let's pedal it out. Ride, give yourself purpose right here. You gotta sink those hips low. Push your heart rate up. Final seconds to really drive your cardiovascular system. 
Can you do it? 15 seconds. Searching for 100. Settling for nothing less if you can. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, sit it down. Take a deep breath. We're gonna reach one at a time. Find your weight. Bring it back up. You already have moderate resistance. Take a big inhale. Lateral raise up. Down one, down two, down three, and four. So you gotta go slow and controlled up. Exhale, drop down. Two more slow. Take it up. Resist and exhale down. See if you can start to bring your heart rate down with it. We're gonna pick up the pace in three, two, let's go. 10, here's nine. Remember that strong pedal stroke, heel to toe. Let's breathe as we lift. Five, we got four, three, here's two, and last one. Bring it down, shake it out. Palms are gonna extend forward, restack your spine. Lift up, slow can down, four, three, two, and up, up, four, here's three, we got two, and I want two more. When we pick up the tempo, option to alternate your arms if you need to, in three, two, let's go, up, 10. Here's nine, keep pedaling, eight. Try not to swing to accomplish it. Use your muscles, not your momentum. Here's five, four, you did it, in three. We're stepping off the bike in two, and one. Bring the weights in, hold on to them this time. Pull your resistance down. Give yourself a second to just flush the legs out and pedal. We've got our triceps and our core, that's it, to accomplish your full body workout. So give yourself time to bring heart rate down. If you need to hit pause and wait a second, you're more than welcome to do that. I'm gonna hit my emergency break in five. Here's four, stepping off in three. Here's two. If you're ready, you join me, stepping off with your weights. We're gonna be coming into a tabletop position. Weights come with you. So you're gonna feel core, but we're also going to feel our triceps and our glutes once again. So put your weight in the right hand first. Let's extend our left leg to start. Flex your heel and just hold. Bend your elbow and extend in and out. Slow count in, slow count out. Exaggerating your hold, keeping your hand high above your hip. Here's four. We got three. Here's two. Last one, extend up. Now pulse both your arm and your leg up ten. Here's nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, bend, kick, bend, kick. Last five, coming to a plank in four. We got three, here's two, losing the weight, straight to plank. Put the weight in the center, hands on your mat, and lift up, pedal your knees. We go right and left. Core stability, shoulder stability, but activating your obliques as you stretch your knee right to your tricep for 10, nine, eight, seven. Hold your right knee in in three. Here's two, right knee pulls in and pulses. 10, nine, you've got it. Eight, seven, we break in six, five. Here's four, three, two, and one. Knees down, child's pose if you need it. Coming back in to finish the left side. Pulling ourselves into our tabletop. That's a modified plank. So your core is active, just your left arm moves out, out, in, in. You've got it. Try to extend your breath as you extend your left palm over your head. Three more. And then we start our pulse in two. Extend back, little pulse. Up and up. See if you can flex your right heel even deeper. Now you're gonna bend both limbs at the same time in eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, we bend in and stretch out. Inhale, exhale. Keep searching for your hand to go higher than your hip. Here's four. 
into plank in three, alternating our knees in two. Last one, let go of the weight, pop it up right away, go left and right, left and right. Ending, squeezing left knee to left tricep in five, we pulse in four, here's three, two, pull it in, pulse time, nine, eight, seven, we're done in six, five, four, three, two, and a one. Sink it into your child's pose. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale down, melt into your mat. Stay here as long as you want. Continue to stretch. I'm gonna walk it off and send you off from here. You did an amazing job sticking through a full body cardio sculpt. I hope you feel stronger than you did when you started.